Hello. There are three big trees in Kyoto, three big deciduous trees. First of them is Kiyaki, Zelkova, very interesting and unusual genus, similar to elm, but has multiple differences in a way of growing and fruiting. Second one is Mukunoki, Afanante, the species which is representative of big tropical genus Afanante, and one deciduous one is growing here in Japan. And the third one is representative of Hackberry, Celtis. So this is a Celtis sinensis, or Enoki. So Mukunoki, Enoki, and Kiyaki are three different big trees which are frequently planted on Kyoto streets. One of reasons these trees will reach giant size. Second one, they provide very nice shade in the summertime. So hard to remember about it right now on December 25th. But in the summertime, it's extremely hot and shade will be extremely useful for people living in Kyoto. And that tree, Celtis sinensis, is one of the best. So leaves of Celtis sinensis are thick, so very robust, and they provide beautiful shade in the summer. One of theories of origin of name of Enoki is a good tree. So good tree because it provides shade plus in the winter time it is also feeding birds because fruits of enoki fruits of celtis similarly to the fruits of afanante are fleshy and this is a difference from elms and zelkova in which case fruits are distributing with the wind so that difference between celtis afanante and also the tropical genus trema was mentioned long ago and only now this genera including Celtis, Afanante, Mukunoki and Trema which for example grows on Okinawa. All these genera were moved to the different families. It's now not an elm family I may see, but the cannabis family. So this is a tree from the cannabis family and the main difference from elms are fleshy fruits. So this is the tree which is nice in the summer and dropping leaves in winter. Enoki is a good tree. Thank you.